much to tell you. Can I start with, I'm a real bitch, okay? I do my own hair color. I do my own nails. This is one day. Let me show you my dominant hand. This is one day. Of nail polish okay I painted my nails I sat here I let them dry and in one day of work this is why I gave up because I have to redo them every night so that I come back in and they mostly look like this still got some chips you know it's just annoying they do this on purpose people so that you have to go to the salon and get the kind that they paint on your nails and it lasts three weeks without chipping they put the shitty shit in the jar so that you lose your fucking mind and say, fuck it. I'm just going to go get it done. I'm not playing that game, guys. No. You will not defeat me. I am not. This is not of mice and men. I am not in a maze. I know what I know what you're doing, Nail Polish Company. And I'm just, just going to let it chip right on off until I feel like painting it again. Because I'm on strike, people. <laughs> I'm on strike. I try so hard. You know, it's hard keeping up with fake women. I don't want to put filler in my lips. Why can't my boobs just be where they are? Because I'm 40. I'm 40 in a couple months. Like, my titties aren't going to be at my chin. Like, <laughs> It's called gravity, and I did not invent it, and I, I'm not, I'm not wrong for having gravity effects. You're wrong for having fake tits, sort of. Not really, though, because I want you to feel good about yourself. So if fake tits make you feel good, great, I'm applauding it. But at the same time, men, can you just not assume that all women's boobs are going to be perky? Because some of us choose to let gravity Let's fucking be real. I'm not choosing. I just can't afford it. Okay? I can't fucking afford it. And bet your ass if I ever can. They, I don't want to put anything in my body. But I will be like, can you like make them sit up higher? Like, I don't know how you do what you do. But don't put anything in there. Or, you know, take anything important out. But make them sit back on the show, you know? Sit down, boobs, where you're supposed to. You are in timeout forever. Pay good money for this time out. Better sit up and sit perky, god damn it. You better get me out of speeding tickets. <sighs> I wish. I never got a speeding ticket, thank God. I hope I never do. Knock on wood. Anyway, also, I will I would love to just suck all my fat right out of my body. Just suck it right the fuck out because I'm so sick of dieting. I am 39 years old. My whole life I've been athletic, playing a sports, whatever, a sports, playing sports. I can speak as well. Hooked on phonics doesn't fucking work. Living proof. I stutter and I mess up my fucking words. Can I have my money back? Because I would really like to use it to pay a bill. Because, you know, a stupid people don't have good jobs. Just kidding. I have a great job. This is comedy. Everybody calm down. I can't. I don't know what happened to Sense of Humors, where they put them in those jars on someone's fucking shelf, but somebody needs to open some lids. I'm sick of dieting. I'm sick of looking at my body and being angry. Like, I lost my daughter and I lost my shit and I ate my feelings. And I think I look amazing for all the shit that I've gone through. I am a size 11. I don't give a fuck. Well, sometimes I'm a 9 and sometimes I'm 11. Because it depends on the pants. I'm a real ass fucking bitch. I'm so tired of it. And you know what, ladies? I was in a size 3 before I got preggers. So, you know what? I've, I've been on both sides. I was a skinny, dancer ass, little scrawny motherfucker. I miss that bitch. I'm not going to lie, but I don't miss being hungry. There was never a time when I was that size, model size, two, three, four, all the way up to six. I was starving all the fucking time. Do you know why? Because my body isn't supposed to be that little. I have curves. And they're mine. And I don't give a fuck who thinks they're fat. I'm so sick of it. Sick of it. <laughs> I don't. 
point, I'm never going to stop taking care of myself. I'm trying to eat healthy, but I have been berating myself, trying to squeeze myself in this fucking dress that I bought two years ago. And if I put it on right now, I look like somebody's stuffing a sausage and it makes me want to fucking cry. But you know what? Fuck that dress. I'll just get a bigger size. Fuck. Fuck. I'm 40. I have... My daughter stretched my lower belly out, and it's like I'm just carrying around, like, a little bit of a donut tire. And I can't make it go flat. I have tried and tried and tried, and I just want to cut it off, but I'm pretty sure I will die if I try. It's tempting. How do they do liposuction? I know there's a YouTube channel. I could figure it out. Like, suck your fat into your bathtub. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. <laughs> like, at the same time, I don't care. Like, like I'm not doing this for a, a body to impress anyone. But I feel like shit about myself. Why do we do that as women? We are trained to fucking sit at that mirror and nitpick ourselves. Look at my chin. Look at my boobs. Look at my butt. Look at my stomach. Guess what, ladies? Men still want to stick stuff in our holes. Do you think they give a fuck about my little speed bump? If they want my guts, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's true. So sick of it. Sick of it. I'm, I'm gonna be curvy the rest of my life because I like fucking cupcakes. And I like soda. And I like greasy food. And I like pizza. And I don't like being size 9 or 11, sometimes a 5. I don't know how that worked out. at the. It's like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I tried on a size 5 at the thrift store, and they fit. And I got all excited, and I went to every store, every size 5, and it can't button that shit. It gets up my ass, up my legs. Well, I mean, over my ass, up my ass. I hope not. Ouch. But you know what I mean? It gets over my ass. I just can't button it. I'm going to be a curvy bitch. I don't want to, but it's true. Because I like food and I'm sick of being hungry. To achieve some fucking scrawny bitches in the 90s set some scrawny ass example of what pretty is. Thank you, Cindy Crawford. You're gorgeous and amazing and I love you to death. But God damn you. I can't, I can't do that. When I, when I drink Pepsi, it does not look like that. I just want a man that says, you know what? I like a lady with some junk in her fucking trunk. Who likes cupcakes? Doesn't give a fuck. Where's that guy? New York's are New York men are dicks, okay? They're either from New Jersey and they have they all have a type. New Jersey women have a type, New Jersey men have a type. It's hilarious. Like what is wrong with New Jersey? So just like, <laughs> I don't know. They have different gym classes all around the world. Some, like, my neighbor is a dominatrix. I wish I could do that. Like, sit down. What the fuck I tell you? <laughs> I can't even do it with a straight face. I couldn't be a dom. I wish. That would be so cool. I couldn't even get through it. I would just bust up laughing. I'm like, do I tell you to get up? No, I didn't. <laughs> I would die. I wouldn't be able to do it. I can't role play at all. I tried once. I'll be real. I tried once. And I just, like, we just fell to the ground laughing. We didn't even have sex. Like, I was so bad at it that I made them not want to have sex. I think I got friend zoned. Well, that makes sense. Fuck me, life. I'm going to be single forever. Who's going to get this? Nobody. I'm just a real person. Nobody can handle my realness. Nobody can handle me. Too spicy. <laughs> spicy and hefty. <laughs> Wait, that's not sexy. I'm so bad at this. <gasps> I am sexy fried. No, I'll work on it. Love you, bye.